Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Now, as most of you know, we have a very shady garden, which we like to call our secret garden. And in our secret garden, we have a number of plants. One being one of my favorite, and that is the hosta, because it loves to grow extremely well here in the shade garden. Now, hostas come in many, many varieties. You have some that have some wavy uh, foliage, some that have some curly foliage, some variegated, some more darker hues of blue, some more darker hues of green. You got some that have yellow, but all are very, very beautiful and they all do well in the garden. But because we specifically do a lot of container gardens, you might be asking yourself a question as to can hostas be grown in containers? And yes, they certainly can be grown in containers. I'm gonna show you a hosta we have here that we've been growing in container for about three years now. Now there are a couple benefits about growing hostas in containers. One being that they're elevated off the ground. So that prevents any early slugs or insects from attacking the foliage as it starts to grow. I have a hosta inside the secret garden that actually got attacked prior to it, putting out a lot of its growth. And I'll show you pictures of what it looks like now after the insects have already gotten to it. It's already grown out. It's got some big, beautiful leaf, but as you can see, there's some parts of it that are damaged from early insect attack. Another benefit to growing hostas in containers is that their roots love to grow horizontally. So putting it in a smaller, more constrained container is gonna make that hosta very happy and healthy looking. As you can see, this is a Wulala hosta that can grow about five to six feet wide. Right now it's pushing about four and a half feet from end to end. So you can see how healthy and how happy this hosta is in this container. Now, one of the downsides to growing hostas in containers is that it does require more frequent watering, sometimes twice a day, depending on the temperature. Now, with more frequent watering, you're gonna wanna use a great soil whenever you plant a hosta in a container, specifically a fast draining soil. We like to use a spoma potting soil. Never use a garden soil because that'll clump up once it gets wet and kinda create a muddy cake inside the container, preventing it from draining really, really good. So you wanna use a soil like, again, a spoma potting soil, because that's gonna retain some water, but it's also gonna drain really good so it's not sitting in water completely throughout the whole day. And because hostas require frequent watering in containers, you're gonna to start to see some nutrient loss. So one thing you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and replenish that by fertilizing twice a month, at least at a minimum, depending on how much you're actually watering, because the more you water, the more nutrients are gonna be lost from that soil and you wanna replenish that. What I like to use, I like to use this plant tone. We've used plant tone every two weeks with this hosta. And as you can see, it's a big, beautiful hosta, has a lot of green, has a lot of growth and is very, very happy. Now, one of my favorite benefits to having a hosta in a container involves what we actually do here in our garden. That's being able to relocate things and make this container mobile, meaning you can move this plant from one location to another. Now, the things we have here in the garden are not completely set. We're still messing around and playing around with what we're gonna actually gonna put here in the garden, but being that it's all containers, especially a hosta, you can move this around. So we have a rose here that we're not sure, we're not quite sure we're gonna have here. We have our Gertrude Jekyll here. We're not quite sure these plants are actually gonna stay here, but the one benefit to it is that hostas are a part shade to shade loving plant. So as we get some sun here, and hostas will take some morning sun, afternoon sun, not so well. They'll start to wilt, they'll start to let you know they don't like that afternoon sun. But as we start to see how the sun affects this area, we can go ahead and move this hosta if need be. And that's one of the biggest benefits is having hostas in places you normally wouldn't have them in your garden. And the last benefit to having a hosta in a container goes back to, like I said, it makes it a mobile container. You can actually use hostas to fill in spots that normally don't look too appeasing in the garden. For instance, we have a spot here that is not filled completely with grass. We have some dirt, we have some mud whenever it rains here. So you can use this as a foliage plant to make it seem as though there is more in a location than there really is. This hosta used here in front of Gertrude Jekyll makes it seem as there is something down here on the ground whenever you're looking at it from a different angle. Even when you come up here and we start to put some more plants here, again, this is not a finished area, but we can put some more stuff here. But this hosta is gonna be very beneficial to filling in certain parts of the garden to make it seem as if there's more there than there actually really is. So to answer any questions about whether hostas can be grown in containers, the answer is yes, absolutely. They can be grown in containers and they will absolutely do extremely well. As you can see, this hosta has done extremely well. It's on its third full year when we actually planted this hosta. We had it in a quart size container, a little bit smaller than this hosta here. And I do wanna take some time to show you this hosta here. This is a new hosta that's available this year in garden centers from Prune Winters. It's called Shadowland Miss America. You can see it's a beautiful looking hosta, has some nice variegation to it. That yellow color looks absolutely amazing. I believe this one can get to about 
four to five feet wide. Um, so it's a very big hasa and, and I think it's gonna be very beautiful looking once we have this one grown. We're excited to plant this one again. We planted this hasta when it was in a container about this size and in only three years, three full years, this is what we have here with proper care in a container. Okay guys, so that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I just wanted to show this hosta off and how well they can actually do in containers. Cause as you can see, this one's extremely happy and healthy. Again, this is Shadowland Woo La La from Proven Winners. And it's just a great, big, beautiful house. So we'll get this one planted soon in a future video. And hopefully this one will be as big and beautiful as this woo-la-la -la here in the garden. So that's going to do it, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you guys in the next one.